Insensitivity training for a politically correct world. It is Thursday morning. It is the Woody Show. Good morning. Yeah. Woody. Good morning. Greg Gorey. Hi. Hi, TJ. Hey. All hey. right. So we'll just go right down the line. <laughs> All, right. All right. So, Greg Gorey, good morning. Good morning, Woody. TJ Miller yeah. is here. Hey. Hi, TJ. Hey. I'll yeah. 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 Then we got uh, Sammy. There's Morning. Menace in. Hi. Since Seabass is out today, Mr. Cartonark's not here. So we have Gina Grad sitting hey. in for uh, for Seabass today. Yeah, TJ Miller's here. I didn't, uh, you know, you, usually I do like a big grand kind of rollout. Like a lead up. Well, yeah, I'm, like a big announcement. I but think, uh, That would be helpful because I was about to ask where Seabass is by yeah. saying, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. is that Carp doing his LARP? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, well, uh, exactly I don't think that would have been a good thing yeah, to start it, out it with. It would have. Yeah. But I, I like that you bear gifts when you walk in. So oh, yeah. Cool. I do bear oh, gifts. Yes. Yeah. Which we'll get I here. I had to pay my Lyft driver an extra $10 <laughs> to wait for me while I went back up and got <laughs> it. Oh, no way. <laughs> That's so nice. And I'm your, happy I did. <laughs> <from your personal laughs> so stash. he didn't speak much English. He very much made it clear that he was grateful for the tip. <laughs> <laughs> well, he used a bevy of hand gestures. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me talk about a couple of your shows. Let's get your, uh, let's get your uh, promotion here. Uh, so that way you can't say we didn't do it. Yeah, let's do all it. Right, all right. So TJ Miller, because he's not here just for fun. You know right. what I mean? He's yeah, here to yeah. make a living. Yeah, you know, uh-huh. he's a he wants people to come. Yeah. So going to be yeah, the Laugh Factory in Covina. And tell him how much I'm getting paid for the appearance. Yeah, how, how much? much? Oh, for this one, you mean? Yeah. Oh, zero dollars. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. He yeah, brought yeah. That's gifts. our budget. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, 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 made neg- I made negative money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, tapped exactly. into his own merch. Sorry, hey, Dave is young, young and you're out of pocket already. We do uh, validate parking, just so you know, so you're not going to be out that. Uh, Laugh Factory in Covina, that'll be this weekend, tomorrow through Sunday. Tickets are available at tjmillerdoesnotthaveawebsite.com. I love that. Oh. Also, some other Woody Show cities, Las Vegas, September 27th through the 29th, and then uh, Pittsburgh, still a while off. It's not till February, but spend Valentine's Day with T.J. Miller. Yeah, I love Pittsburgh. In I Pittsburgh. I Vegas also. That's my hometown. Pittsburgh's You're from my hometown. Vegas? No, I'm from uh, Pittsburgh. Oh, it's the best. Yeah, I love Pittsburgh. It's a beautiful city. People don't know. I say that it's one of the Pittsburgh and Chattanooga are these two cities that people don't yet know how yeah. cool they are. I've never been to Chattanooga, lucky. but I can, Chattanooga I can vouch for is Pittsburgh. Great. And so Oklahoma City is really cool. Yeah. yeah. It's but, cool because uh, you get to travel all over. But I was going to ask if you do gamble. I thought you said you're from Vegas. Bro. No, no. I don't, general, and I don't, I and I don't gamble, no. At all? No. Well, you know why? Because I've never won. Uses. I've never, never won, won once. There's no, not that's even why you got to keep yeah, you know, keep at it. Yeah, yeah, duh. Keep chipping away. It's about to get so good. <laughs> chipping yeah. away. Is so yeah. funny. Are you a gambler? Uh, I'm not a big gambler. I have a friend who's sort of a professional sports book gambler. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he has a. He's on the gambling, the sports gambling podcast network. He has his own show. And one weekend, he picked. What's his all, name? Yeah, C.J. Sullivan. He's very C. funny. C.J. Sullivan. Uh, C., okay. Uh, C.J. Sullivan was taken on. Uh, Instagram and he did this thing again I don't know that much about it but he went through and he picked who the winners would be for every game and every sport for that weekend wow and one weekend he got every single one right (gasps) no so then he suddenly became this like luminary in the scene and all the other podcasts were like ripping off his picks but it's like that's that that almost I could tell that he was like, yeah, that really doesn't. It's like getting a hole in one in golf. And so how much did exactly. he win on that? But he said, now he don't sort of. He doesn't like to talk about that. Why? It's not very <laughs> gentlemanly. I know, but on something like yeah. that, like that's definitely well, cause something. Because then, then you go, you how much know. did you win? I won thirty seven thousand dollars. Okay, <laughs> next weekend. How much did you lose? I lost right. seventy eight thousand. <laughs> yeah. Well, Drake he does want it. To take you on that. Yeah. What? Drake does it. He puts out how much he bets. And then how much he loses. Well, well I mean, he has yeah, a that's not much of a gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the gen- gentlemanly is, would be my first adjective yeah. when thinking Good. about Drake. All right, so TJ Miller, Deadpool 1 I can think of a couple two. other ones. Okay. Silicon Valley, which one of my one of my favorite characters of all time was Ehrlich. I loved Thanks, I, That was man. a great show. Actually, a, a friend of mine worked on that show, and I got to come down to the set a couple times. Really? Uh, Brett Dos Santos. And, oh, I love him! Yeah. Wow, yeah, he's a he good was dude. A, uh, a hard ass. Yeah, dude. He, but he's a good. Well, he yeah, he had to keep everybody in line. He keep you in line. He was the real thing. Yeah, but I, I love that show. That was great. The Mike Judge show, Transformers Four Plus. So I always thought it'd be really cool to do. Like, I wish a, you would have hugged me when you came on set. 
Yeah. I, you know what? I, I did say hi to you. Yeah, but I, yeah, that's not much of a hug, is it? No, it's not <laughs> much of a hug. Yeah. But. That's not even a verb, yeah, but verbal I was trying hug. To, <laughs> Hello is. Yeah. I was trying to stay hi, out hi of the way. Hi is just a pat on the butt. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> did you give Woody the hi hat? Did you just big time him? No way. No. He said hi, and I looked at him, and I think in my eyes I said, that's not much of a hug. Yeah. yeah, yeah probably. Right. Now I can tell you exactly how it went, because I remember. Uh-oh. I walked up. There was like mm. a little snack table. Uh, there was a courtroom scene that was Gross. being filmed. Yeah, I and, believe it. Yeah, and uh, and so uh, I walked up because uh, Brett's like, "Hey, my buddy's like, hey, come meet uh, TJ." I'm like, "Great!" Cause we got my favorite character, right. and uh, I walk up and go, "Hey, man, uh, really, really, uh, really a fan of the show. Love, love your character." And he's like, "Cool, thanks, man." <laughs> <laughs> Held out his hand. I got like this. Like, I don't know if he thought I was gonna pull a weapon or something. <laughs> it was like that kind of look. Like, what's up with this guy? Your beard is too well trimmed to be yeah, pulling yeah. weapons. <laughs> <laughs> But Don't I was, you think he just? But I had a moment. Like, yeah, I had a moment. It was it was cool. I love, I love that show. That, it was a great yeah. show. Well, thanks for having me on your show. I love your show. Oh well, thank you. I love all of your show. Uh, <laughs> thanks, man. You were on one of my all time favorite shows that I thought was so underrated. Happy endings when you played Sure oh, Shao. Yeah. And yeah. I would I would had the first time I saw you on that I had to put closed captioning on to understand what your name was. Sure Shao. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> well, it's they like did that. that was a great that was show. Too. Yeah, it was really great. That's one of the shows that it got canceled and there was an uproar. And then they keep different places kept threatening to put it back on and it never, they just never got it back on. But people really wanted, and it wasn't even an underrated show. Everybody who saw it loved it. Loved Everybody. It. And so it's really confusing as to why they, it wasn't a very expensive show. Mm-hmm. And the chemistry of the cast was just was so excellent. rare. Exactly. I think it was even better chemistry than on Silicon Valley because I just really? think every single person that show was firing on all cylinders and related really well to each other. And what's it about? Uh, it's a group of friends, and you know, one is gay. There's this couple who's really uptight and tidy. There's yeah. another couple that was about to get married, and then they broke up. And then Shershaw comes in, and you're about to marry Penny, I think it was, if I remember no, right. No, that's right. And, yeah. uh, and, and your character on that was... Like kind of the annoying one, you know. Like he was very loud and obnoxious. It was such a good show. The chemistry, yeah. like you pointed out, perfect. Well, I loved. Uh, I I just I love that show, and it was. It was just kind of about people of a certain age, kind of flailing and figuring it out. Right. Um. But it was. It just was such a good. Um. Yeah. It was just so well written, so tight. It was really, really great. And you know, what's frustrating is sometimes a show will go on a little too long. And I'm not going to say I've been in anything like that. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> but no. I, th- I do think that um, some, t- and then the flip side of that is there's so many shows like that, like happy endings where you're, you're just like, what? Yeah. That's Why? it. Yeah. Yeah. What happened? What, yeah, yeah. What, what exactly happened? What did anyone do wrong? And so it's just a fickle business television. And now I think it's so strange because you can bounce to, you know, to go from one place to Tubi. Right. You know? Yeah. yeah. That's my big thing. There's a lot right more options. Like everybody's looking for content. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's my big thing right now. I, I'm always talking about Tubi. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Put it on the map. Yeah, it's easy to get movies on there. Yeah. 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 Well, so you can just like, get your phone and make yeah. a movie and put like, it on Like uh, Shark Side of the Moon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, TJ Miller's here. You know one thing I've, I've always... Uh, uh, admired about you is that uh, you don't seem very shy to you know speak your mind. You definitely put yourself out there, and I know sometimes it's yeah, it's, it's, it's great... gotten. I trust me, I'm a, I'm a guy that does the same thing. So I you yeah, sometimes exactly. find yourself uh, getting in trouble, but I think you are uh, authentically you, and so I, yeah. I respect that. And uh, I just try not to really do the. I don't know. I don't. It's not that I don't like playing the game. I I find it refreshing when yeah. people are. Uh, just honest in themselves, kind of. Yeah. Uh, other people don't always find that refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They, d- they yeah. don't find yeah. it to be like a brisk shower. <laughs> yep. On a hot afternoon. Oh, yeah. I'm relating to you. Go um, preach. But I, I think it's yeah. There's so much now of tiptoeing and watching out. And I had this. I for the first time, I have a couple jokes that are not. Um, you know, they're they deal with topics that are sensitive okay and like give us an example well i joy don't be the, shy now I the mean. joy now i'm trying to decide how to <laughs> s- talk about the jokes instead of tell the jokes right, right, right. so one is about sort of pro-choice pro-life um but it's 
making fun of both sides, mm-hmm. sort of. And it's a trick. The joke kind of ends yeah. in sort of a trick on it. It's everybody. like an M. Night Shyamalan movie. There's a twist. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Meaning the first one is great. Right. And then <laughs> what happened? And then yes. the yeah. trap right. looks good. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's what that joke is the like. Yeah. 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 And so, yeah. I know what happened. <laughs> Uh, what was the one on the island? Okay, oh, so, oh that was a tough one. Uh, who even oh. knows? Um, and then the other one is kind of about joy, but it's talking about being in a spa with these three trans girls. Yeah, and it's just you know, I, I, I and I've gotten really spoiled because I live in New York City, and in New York, specifically Manhattan, you kind of don't have to worry too much. It's just it's New Yorkers, and then it's tourists who kind of don't know what to expect. What right. is a New York comedy right. club show like what is it are they gonna say edgy crazy stuff I think that people well it's New York yeah I mean if you're coming in from Minnesota and you've never been to New York and you're cool and you decided to go to a stand-up comedy club to see a show I mean from Minnesota you're just like I'm gonna take it up there and just talk it's all wild, about yeah. black people right <laughs> you know it's just it, it kind of what are they gonna say so that coupled with how New Yorkers aren't super into cancel culture, like Brooklynites are, people in Brooklyn. But in Manhattan, Brooklyn is like the Silver Lake. Right. Uh, yeah, like a real hipster. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, and it's so, really become that way for sure. Yeah, and so it's uh, it's easier to kind of, you can rest assured that if you say something, it's not immediately going to have you go to, you know, politically yeah. correct jail. I mean, do you worry about it? Not, but then I was uh, I was on the Lower East Side, and there was a show, and it felt I didn't even look around because we had been on a bar crawl. But I, if I looked at the audience, I might have gone, "Well, these are people are really young," but I just didn't. I I don't know, and I also tour all over the country, and the rest of the country is not. Here's the only thing I think sore about everything, and yeah. they they I got played off the stage. You did they what? turned on music. They during bring the hook out. Wow. The Sandman joke. came yeah. and swept yeah, out. Yeah, basically <laughs> swept out. Yeah, they gave me the hook, <laughs> and uh, and I had to get off stage. I was like, oh my wow. god, it's this thing. It's not about um, it's about joy, and sort of the joyfulness that I felt with these trans women having such a great time, and the joy that they were having in their outfits and that. And it just doesn't matter because as soon as you say trans or you yeah. say people, yeah. it's not even people like the buzzword. They don't yeah, they're, well, and they're not going, okay, I wonder what his take is on this. They're just going, that's not okay. I'm, the, I'm waiting even in the for the way, of a comedy I'm club. waiting for the way yeah. that I'm going to be able to spin this to not look great. And what's sad is that a couple of times just in the last, you know, few weeks, I have had the moment where. And I, I guess I'm a provocateur, I guess, but not, not on purpose, really. And so I do, I don't know. I've had a moment a couple times in the last little bit where I go, well, maybe it's just not worth it to, mm. to do yeah, those no, jokes. That's, that's, and that, danger. that's a dangerous yeah, mindset, and, and, and that is censorship. Yeah. That's, that, it's other that people. Sucks. Especially pushing. in comedy. Yeah, it's such a bummer. Yeah. But it's, you know, and the, other, the other part of it is, like, I don't have to. I'm editing. I have a new special called The Philosophy Circus. And we were editing that uh, the last couple of days. And that's just fun and silly. And then, you know, it's philosophical and it's uh, it's juggling and it's, you know, terrible ventriloquism. And, and I can get an I teach an audience member how to play the trombone. Like a variety and, show mm, yeah. almost. Yeah, it's sort of vaudevillian and everything. And so that I, I can do that also. So the, the counter argument is so then why don't I just do more of that stuff? Mm-hmm. And um, I don't know. It's a tricky kind of time for comedians, as we've now been yeah. saying for like, was, yeah, ever since the slap. I think, it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> I think it was John Stewart that said, uh, "I wish we would hold the politicians accountable the way that we do comedians." comedians. That's true. Yeah. I know? think that's and, right. And yeah. When you're in the the world of comedy, like, who cares what they're joking about? Like, it's right there. It's comedy. It's right. jokes. And it's, it's all a disclaimer. Yeah, that means... it's all subjective. But uh, but but when you say it's almost like a, a trigger warning, right? Like it's a comedy show. You might hear things that are a little uh, edgy or politically incorrect. Mm. Just can you suck it up and just have a laugh for a couple minutes? At that mm-hmm. comedy show, they did trigger warnings. <laughs> like no this way. material is yeah. maybe triggering. Where was that? Oh. This stuff. You can leave the room. Oh. And where like was this to. again? And we'll come and get you. He's on the Lower East Side. Oh, Manhattan. Come and get you. Isn't that so bizarre? I know, really. Hold your plushie in the other room. Yeah, Yeah. really. Go into the sensitivity room. Wow. That's what I always thought would be cool. That's what I always thought would be cool about 
you know, being a comedian is because like all you have to really do is keep your fans happy and you will always sell tickets because the people will come see you. Yeah. I, it gets tricky mm -hmm. in your situation because you're doing comedy, but then you're also doing, you know, movies and TV shows and, you know, people might go, oh, I don't know about, you know, th th it could affect that side of things. If you just kind of like, there are some comedians that I know who just don't care. They go out there, they do their thing for their audience. They don't worry about the rest of it because that's their their bread and butter, so to speak. Just keep your audience happy, and that's all you have to worry about. Yeah, I mean, yes. And uh, I think that's something that I consistently... The thing is, though, I like to tour, and I don't see myself ever getting to a place where I don't. And so some comedians, are kind, they say... Uh, you do the shows for free, they pay you to travel mm. because the travel is really the hardest yeah. thing. Yeah. And then you go and you have these great shows and it's so much fun. Mm -hmm. um, but I also like traveling. So I just I just think it's fascinating. And airports and all of it is so, so interesting <laughs> to me and watching people and talking to people. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I love, love, love touring. And then I kind of, I'm in a place now where I'm not going to really do anything unless I'm making it. So I don't I don't love the idea of being cast in something. Oh. I would do something if it made sense and it seemed completely awesome. But like the next movie that I'm going to be in is a Christmas movie that I I wrote with a buddy of mine and we're kind of waiting to see if Seth MacFarlane might want to produce it. We'll okay. see, see what's up with that. Mm. Lots of good company. Yeah. Yeah, seriously. Really? And we'd pitch it you know to he'll a couple go places people. with it. <laughs> yeah, we we uh we pitched it to a couple other people. I'm friends with Michael Bay. And so we, it's an idea that people love and, but that I'll have control over that and I'll star in it. And that's yeah. kind of what I always wanted to do was do stand up, and then write films that I starred in, but didn't direct. Right. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. But I also, I have a series that I wrote and so it's kind of on that side. It's more that right now. Um, but the stand up, I mean, I could just do stand up for the rest of my yeah. life. It looks fun. Happens. It looks like something like a, that might be fun to try, but like, I think it would oh, you suck should at try it. it. No, you no, have I think this... it would be terrible. I'd have to be more of like the storyteller comedian more than like the setup punchline kind yeah, of comedian. Yeah, you could do that. You just have such a bizarre affect that yeah? would lend itself yeah. to stand-up comedy. Right, yeah. like, you, mean like, you mean like visually yeah. or... Uh, no, no, you just, yeah. the like, way that you talk and kind yeah? of your sort of... You know, you have this kind of. I got a vibe. Yeah, you have a vibe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, it's yeah. You have this sort of cadence, and it could oh, be. Oh, Joe Coy kept telling me to thing. like open for him, like oh. do, and I said, dude, I'm never doing and that. And don't say you will because he will hold. Oh, you I know. To it. Oh, That's for I've sure. Said no. He's a yeah. guy that's yeah. yeah, and you'd be in front of so many people. But he wants me to stop doing. I'm well. the ugly friend. You know what I mean? Like, like, yeah, like you know, he could be like a six on the level. I'm not saying he is, but he could be like a six comedian. But he's gonna have me up there. Like before he comes out, he's gonna look awesome. Yeah. And it's going to yeah. look like a 10. Yeah. That's right. TJ Miller is here. Yeah. Rocking it out at Rock and Roll Ralph. Yeah. <laughs> sunset Baby. What is that? Yeah. Is that the is that what it's called? Rock and one. Yeah. I've been here 10 years. I've not heard of the Rock and Roll oh, Ralph. Whoa. That's what it is. You know, they put up a sign now. Oh, they did? Oh, they yeah, because they, they want to yeah. claim it. Right? What is it? Yeah. Like, it's what rock makes it rock? And roll. There used to be Rock and Roll McDonald's in Chicago. That's right. Um, I've been to that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My God. Yeah, because I started comedy in yeah. Chicago. And I remember. I worked down there, and there were two places <laughs> that we loved to frequent. Rock and Roll McDonald's. Yeah. And a place called Snickers. Oh, Snickers. Yeah. Which had the blue shot. Yeah. Which mm -hmm. was like $4. And if you ever go, hey, what's uh, what's in this? They go, blue. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. But what's what's Rock and Roll Ralph's? Rock and Roll Ralph's is the Ralph's on Sunset yeah, no, but like What makes it Rock it's and like Roll? It's like near like, all the yeah. clubs, all the rock yeah. clubs. Uh, like, all the cool yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, it's, on, it's, it's yeah. close. It's the beginning of the Sunset Strip, right. would you okay. say? Mm -hmm. so they didn't really theme it out or anything. No. Oh, they got no. a sign now. Well, yeah, I didn't sign know that. Now. And I mean, I've yeah. seen people kind of rock back and forth, sort of cry or like talking to themselves. Oh, okay. It's, it's kind of rocking. It's still rocking. I've dropped a couple things that have rolled down the aisle. Yeah. And not picked it up. That's rock and roll. No, I haven't. That is rock and roll. <laughs> That's punk rock. It's a little late though, right? For that sign because hasn't the scene kind of died around it? I think so. And I think also if you put the sign up, especially in Los Angeles, it's kind of, first of all, it's not really rock and roll no, anymore. It ceases right. to become yeah. rock and roll. It's not mm -hmm. rock and roll to sort of try and exploit that. It makes it less and cool. It, yeah. And then, yeah. then you know, Los Angeles is a city built on people turning to each other and be like, hey, you see that Ross over there? Hey, yeah. You know, that's actually known as uh, 
Rock and roll route. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> people go, wait, what? Why? Yeah, I saw the sign. They go, well, yeah. you know, I mean, I, yeah. I used to rock back and forth, and I've dropped something that's rolled down the aisle. <laughs> and, then, and then the person's like, that's not really that funny to say that out loud. And then, <laughs> and then, and then you're like, okay, well, I certainly won't do it on the radio. Well, if, you're looking, <laughs> if you're looking for uh, something to do this weekend, TJ's got his shows at Laugh Factory in Covina. Uh, that is tomorrow through Sunday. Tickets are available TJ Miller does not have a website.com. That's TJ Miller does not have a website.com. You're kind of splitting your time between New York and LA though, right? Yeah, you I'm, keep most, a place I'm in almost both? completely in New York all the time. But I try, I'd say I'm here for like a month and a half, maybe a month to two months. Every the year. entire year? And you keep a place? Yeah, we kind of do. And I would love to like Airbnb. You, Airbnb? It? Yeah, I was going to say, right. what do you do in the meantime? But my wife. And Kate's right. I mean, it's she just she has a lot. We both have a lot of trust issues. Yeah. Mm. And so for her, especially the idea of somebody else in that space, yeah, I feel yeah. like we can never do it. I don't even want to stay at an Airbnb. Really? Like I'm I'm not comfortable with the idea. Oh, I'm like into it. That, yeah. That's funny. Yeah. That's funny. Kate. That's all she does. She doesn't go to hotels. Yeah. She only mm. does Airbnb. Really? So she doesn't trust people to come in her house, but she definitely trusts it to go into <laughs> there. <laughs> Maybe that's because of what she does when she's in these Airbnbs. Who what does she knows? do? I have no idea. <laughs> that's right. Her own behavior yeah. informs the exactly fact that she's right. like, yeah, right. I'm not letting anybody come in here into my home yeah. doing the things that I do in everybody else's home. That's, that's right. right. She's right. rubbing things that I don't want to talk about. <laughs> yeah, she's, uh, she's, uh, she's applying her scent. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is that yeah. what it is? Yeah, yep. I yep. think so. It's peanut butter scent. Throwing things mm-hmm. down into the vents. Right. Uh, well, anyway, go see T.J. Miller, The Laugh Factory in Covina. Just go to T.J. Miller does not have a website.com. It's the first time I played the club. Oh, the first time yeah. ever? Well, yeah. it just recently opened up. It's That's right. It's a theater, and now, uh, yeah, the comedy shows have just been coming through, and they've been great, so... A lot of people are not even aware that the that it's there now. Oh, there you go. Yeah. It could be a first You're time tr- for you and TJ both yeah. together this weekend. You're dressed like someone that can be trusted. <laughs> yeah, who menaces? Don't you think he yeah. kind of is? You would, yeah. you would look at him and be yeah. like, I, yeah, I think that is, guy's. Is it him. the glasses? Yeah, I think it's the glasses yeah. and the sort of green. I, we both have similar Gl- like green yeah. flannel, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, kind of. Yeah. But yours is more trustworthy. Mine is. <laughs> I think if I if I think if I saw somebody dressed like me, I'd, I'd kind of go. I'm not going to talk to that. Guy. <laughs> uh, but T.J. Co- Miller, the Covina Laugh Factory. It did just open. Yeah, I heard it's really really good. It's a nice intimate club, which is good because I do I riff a lot, so I'll talk to the audience, but also I just kind of I love talk the crowd work. about yeah. yeah thank you but yeah. I also just talk about the audience so I don't really talk to yeah. them all the time uh, which I think is kind of more fun <laughs> um, and so the size of this club I think is really going to lend itself to that's my favorite thing is to do clubs that are you know smaller that are 200 250 people uh, even less can be really really good and so Covina is the, it is supposed to be that so I'm excited to go there and I'm excited to perform so check me out at the Laugh Factory that's this weekend okay, this weekend Friday, Saturday, Sunday yep. Yep. TJ Miller is here it's happening now yeah hey let me ask a quick question we were kind of talking off the air you said uh, Menace looked uh, really trustworthy yeah guess his ethnicity hmm it's a fun game yeah Okay, what's your last name? Oh, he doesn't know. Too much of a tell. I know, I know. That's a tell. Um, yeah. All right. I would say, um, I don't know, Mexican? Oh. Yeah. Interesting. Oh. Yeah, he loves you for lot. that. It's like when you uh, when you ask, when you say, a woman mm-hmm. says, guess how old I am? Oh. She's like 40. And you go, I don't know, 29? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love you. I love you. Yeah. You guessing that he's Mexican, man, just made his day. I guarantee it's, it. Uh, it's true, though. And you are. Woody is obsessed with my. No, I'm not. I am Caucasian. I just, but I did grow People up are shocked. Oh, wait a second. Wait Gina, a second. were you not shocked when I you was, found yeah. out? Wait, 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 wait a second. Wait a second. Are, so are you the guy on the forms that we all fill out where it says Caucasian and then all of us have to put not of Hispanic descent. Right. Right. Yeah. Are you the guy that's yeah. like, I'm Caucasian. Uh, I I think, think, that's unbelievable. I've yeah. never met one. I, yeah. I don't know well, why. I'm serious. I don't know why. Because I grew, You're like a unicorn. I know. I grew yeah. up in an all a Latino neighborhood. I want to kiss your for horn. A really long time. And then every time people always assume that I am Latino. Yeah, his last name why. is McMurray. McMurray. So that would have, yeah. you know. Not exactly Mexican. Yeah, no, doesn't lend so itself. So, yeah. am I not trustworthy now that I'm white? No, he didn't yeah. say that. I gotta say this. <laughs> Look, I, TJ I, does not I, need I your help. I am no longer trustworthy. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
All on TJ so Miller's excited. here. I was excited. Now you're just some <laughs> Irish <laughs> drunk. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so in, in March, I there's, a, met one. Yeah. Yeah. there's a new album that TJ released called Smooth Peanut Butter. You have like this thing with peanut butter. What What's the yes. peanut butter... What, what, cause they're, 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 you got I your own my, line of peanut butter. I have my own peanut butter. You brought peanut butter in. Yes. PB and J peanut butter. Peanut okay. butter. Oh, peanut I love butter. It. And I have uh, toffee crispy. This is cherry chocolate with real oh, dried cherries. Yeah. Heck oh yeah. my God, You guys are probably yeah. going to finish this. Mm-hmm. And then oh. dark chocolate coconut. Ooh. Oh. That's for the ladies. Hell yeah. <laughs> I was going to oh. say, that sounds like for Greg and I. I know. Yeah. Can we rub it on each other? Oh, I, do. I yeah. hope you will. Yeah. <laughs> so what, what is the, what's the peanut butter thing? Like, what, yeah, what how did that start? Yeah. Well, I love peanut butter. I started by mm. making my own hot sauce. All of this right. is available on Amazon.com and my website, TJ Miller does not have website.com. Right. So I started making hot sauce and it went so well mm. that I said, well, I, sh- I should make something else. What do I love as much as hot sauce? Mm. Well, I have peanut butter. Mm. I love peanut butter. I can't. Right now, I'm trying not to keep a jar of it in the house. Yeah. Mm. I think you guys know the end of that. Yeah, yeah not so no, uh, it. Yeah, it's, it's so, so good. Mm. I grew up on crunchy, skippy peanut butter, and my mother used to make me, well, uh, my family eats peanut butter on their pancakes. I love that. Mm-hmm. I do that too. Yeah. yeah. And then I going to school, I, I wanted to do this recently, but uh, she would make a waffle sandwich, and it was genius. It was two waffles, <laughs> and it was a circle of peanut butter around the edge of the waffle. And then syrup in the middle of that circle, oh, and then she pressed in between two Eggo yeah. waffles, and give it to me, and that was my breakfast like all the time. So I had mm. I had a I've had a lot of peanut butter growing up, and then I just I love peanut butter. I had a bit about uh, George Washington Carver <laughs> and sure. him inventing peanut butter <laughs> when, he, <laughs> when he first invented it. Did he kind of keep it secret for a while? So his own little. Yeah, special peanut butter secret. It sounds like yeah. almost a, like, uh, like you, you see like a special person every once in a while. They have like an obsession with yeah. one particular thing. Yeah, yeah. like uh, like Rain Man, Wapner, you know, right. Wapner. Yeah, you know, Wapner. Wapner at four. Yeah, and uh, for me, it's peanut butter. Yeah, for you, I it's am peanut that butter. Very special person. Yeah, but I do love the idea. Like, would you guys keep it secret if you invented peanut butter and you tried it, obviously, and it was as good no. as peanut butter is? I'd be an instant would you, billionaire. You, would you yeah. immediately tell everybody or? Yeah. Would you kind of keep it secret for a few weeks and kind of oh. sneak sneak some PB? Yeah, you're a yeah. little clandestine romance yeah, you go, before it goes yeah, public. Yeah, you, you, you kind of, they're like, all right, well, we're going to have our toast and jam. Mm. And you're like, mm. oh, yeah, okay, yeah, I'll be right, right back. I'm, I'm taking mine to the bathroom for a second. <laughs> then you come back out and you're biting and they go, you seem so happy. I'm like, oh, yeah, I don't know why. I, don't know no, I mean, I guess, it. yeah, no, at first maybe I keep it a secret, but then eventually, no, I want the credit. Like, yeah. I've said right. this a million times on the show. Like, I won't leave a tip at the bar until they're looking at me. Smart. Like, yeah, yeah I'm not just putting the tip in the tip, you know, cup yeah. or whatever. I want them to see oh, that I I'm putting it saying. there. I'm the guy. Yeah, because, like, some of these other jerks aren't tipping, and they're going to see there's money in there. They're not going to know who it's attributed to. And when I come back up here, I, I not expect, but I would hope that I would get, like, a preferential treatment. Right. Yeah. Because I'm tipping on the drinks that I'm getting. Yeah, so you, I'm, I want the credit. I'm never going to be the anonymous donor to a charity. <laughs> I'm going to make sure that my name's yeah, on I it. See, yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah. You know? I see. Th- I thought you meant that when you're at a bar, if the bartender is sort of not looking at you and then just asks you real quick and then gets your stuff and never really looks at you, that you don't leave a tip. And that kind of made sense to me also. Yeah, that's also, uh, that's also true. Yeah. It's, yeah, I want them to know where the tip's coming from. Yeah, let's just come back up to the bar. Connection. Otherwise, pretty soon it's going to be replaced by... AI. Exactly. Mm. For sure. Which I'd be okay with. I mean, you know, that's fine too. Although I don't like the robot bo- uh, bartenders that you see. Yeah, slow, that's right? No. So slow. They're getting better. They're, getting better. They're getting better. You pick your, the, like, you know, mixer or whatever and uh-huh. they shake it up for you and serve it on yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. It takes they, forever. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's kind of boring. Yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. like it. But it's until they really have those kind of cyborgs that are doing, because have, have you guys <laughs> seen this one AI cyborg or whatever robot they. The guy's like, um, can you uh, give me something to eat? And can you also put this thing, you know, this this ball through this? And he did all of this. And then what was crazy is he goes, can you explain to me why you did that the way you did? And then he explained everything. Whoa. Oh, I don't he, was, like that. he was kind of yeah. like the only thing that was edible on that in the bin was the lettuce. And so I gave that to you. And uh, obviously, when you asked me to do something, I had to figure out how to get. So it was very. That was really bizarre because that's a different type of thing to see a robot say like, 
Well, yeah, I mean, I guess the way that I did, it's just, like, this you is know. Why it's A to C instead it's, of A to yeah. B. I don't yeah. like that. Same. Too scary. Yeah, and that's that's more letters than I usually no. do. Yeah, that's yeah. weird. And it's yeah. going to get way more weird. Like, there was a thing, I forget where it came from, but they... Uh, they put some like kind of skin on something. Yes. Did you see? Yes. What was that? It was like a like basically a robot. Yeah, like that had a humanoid with with skin cells yes. that they grew in a lab. Yeah, yeah. it was really, really? weird. Dude, cool. it was really weird. Can't wait to have sex with it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's where <laughs> I was yeah. going. Spoken yeah. awesome. like a true Mexican. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Speak on it. <laughs> see. <laughs> yeah. well, real quick though about your peanut butter i know it has to be good because last time you brought in some hot sauce and dude i killed the bottle right away it was so good well that is in one sitting yeah yeah <laughs> yeah true my roots, like caliente yeah you know? yeah uh, greg picante. why don't you try try some of the uh um, i want to try the peanut butter yeah the yeah, dark chocolate too. coconut one greg is a really good um he's a good taste tester because He's really good at describing what he's experiencing. Now he's I the tr- best. Really, now true? I won't be. Yeah, ab- no, dude, it's absolutely true. Yeah. I'll just well, this be, will be really interesting. So TJ I- Miller's here. This is, he's got his own line of TPB and J peanut better. Oh, yeah. mm. which is oh, available on his website, also on uh, Amazon. This is the chalk, the dark yeah, chocolate exactly. coconut. Stir it up, stir it up. Oh my god. Also, stir it up, right. TJ. Oh, yeah. you, you should see what we do with peanut butter around here. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's right. We yeah. recently had a. Uh, Not joking. This guy. I'll show you a video. Can you dump stuff? If I won't even use uh, a negative, uh, oh, I won't good. use bad words. But the uh, oh wait, we gotta hear it. Okay. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's next level. <laughs> it's almost. It's very coconut forward, which I love because if you don't love coconut, you're a psychopath. Right. Agreed. It's not cloyingly sweet, which I appreciate. Oh, it tastes it natural. Good. Cloying. It um, it's the coconut has a great crunch mm. but it's mm. not like okay. stick like, to your not, teeth it's no so it's not like soggy coconut like you no. get in the middle of like a like an almond joy or something this tastes like it was made one minute ago it's yeah. so damn good it's not oily but it is smooth af look this at the is, light just went on what in about his eyes. the what about the dark chocolate flavor how's that because I'm, I'm a sucker for dark dark chocolate yeah and um but it's present and it's not overpowering. This is insanity in a jar it's I told so you it was good, good you just see tj miller peanut butter on oh. amazon and then there you go. It's great, yeah, so right? Good. And it Incredible. does taste like I made it a minute ago. It does. I did it in the parking lot. There's <laughs> 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 great like parking lot peanut, peanut butter. Yeah. 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 This yeah. is awesome. I'm gonna double dip on this spoon. Right. Do it. Who cares? Yeah, uh, uh, TJ <laughs> Miller. Couple. Uh, let's see. Is so it great. I'm so happy you like it. I and love it is. It. Man, it's, you're right. It's the. Yeah. The hot sauce is really good. Next mm-hmm. up is going to be pickles. Pickles. Oh, yeah. And then my right. wife, Kate, wants me to make uh, bitters, like for bitters and oh, soda. Oh, yeah. Because I'm obsessed with the cocktail. Now that I said that out loud, yeah. I'm going to go home and have a bitters and soda. <laughs> I don't know why. It's like the brightest, uh, most excellent cocktail. I didn't uh, know cocktail. You, you can have a farm in Manhattan. Yeah, it's a very small one. It's kind of yeah. uh, two by four feet, and uh, it's very tiny. We have half a cow. I just this and second three quarters bite, of a chicken. This bite, I just got a ever so slight hint of salt. It's Ooh. Like, it was like a kiss of salt. Ooh. You're like a peanut butter so sommelier. Yeah, so yeah. good, dude. I, mean, I, I don't want you to go for the cherry for chocolate. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, you might want to try the cherry chocolate, too. I think I might. All right, Let's so true so or false? Excited. Somebody goes, uh, peanut butter and hot sauce, huh? I go, yeah, he goes, you ever thought of doing a peanut butter hot sauce or a hot a hot uh-huh. sauce peanut butter? And I go, no, but you know, you you can do it. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> you do it like, what do you mean? Right. You have it? I'm like, you just take the hot sauce and, and mix the it in. Butter, yeah. You put it together. Yeah. And I had never done that. Like I sort of talked about it. And can I have another? Uh, yeah, yeah. Boom. Oh I'll yeah. Get it. Yeah. Um, and then I was on a podcast, <laughs> and the girl goes, "This girl Natty Cuomo." She goes. Um, why don't uh, uh, why don't we try it right now? And I was like, oh yeah, I never have. Thank you. And uh, and so I tried it, and it was delectable. It was really actually pretty good. A peanut hot sauce, sweet and savory. No, just just to put like hot sauce in this. Yeah, exactly. Oh, actually, sweet to mix and it. savory. Yeah. Yeah. Gina, isn't that to die for? This is incredible. Now, is that the is that the dark chocolate coconut? Yeah, yes. it's yeah, incredible. Yeah, yeah. All the texture, is the flavor is so perfect. Fun. Yeah, TJ, is it true? I, you... I, I feel like I'm on like. Rachel Ray. <laughs> is it true that you graduated magna cum laude from George Washington University? One of those words. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was late this morning. Uh, <laughs> I did it loudly. Uh, yeah. okay, this is perfect. Um, Have you so, ever been tested? Like your IQ? Are you like uh, Mensa? 
Uh, <laughs> Menace. Yeah, Menace. <laughs> True that. Call me the Menace. All right, I'm going to have some of this, actually. All right. yeah. He's trying his own. Mm. He's getting Ooh. high on his own supply. All right. Here we go. Mm. What do you mm. think, TJ? Uh, <laughs> I like the... I like the subtle cloying <laughs> sweetness. Yeah. It sort of sticks to your teeth, but not in a good way. Is there a, <laughs> not in a good uh-huh. way. Then, you know, Is there a kiss of salt? <laughs> or I would, I would kiss someone with salt on my <laughs> lips. Try this. Yeah, pass that down. That I, want, do I really do want to hear what you think. I, I lost my spoon. I'm going sure back in with the same spoon. I hope that's Go right. back in! Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, the chocolate Double coconut peanut butter is really good. That's good, right? Yeah, oh the almond God. in there. Is, yeah, um, and I mean, really that's, that's the thing I was nice going to say, but the almonds, I think, mm-hmm. really make that. Yeah. And you like this one? I got to tell you, it is very hard to beat chocolate and coconut, but I think you just did, my friend. Yeah. This and, is incredible. The, thing, the cool about that is it's sort of like, mm. it's real dry cherries. It's oh. sort of like peanut butter and jelly, but not really. It's more like peanut butter and jam. And the fact that it's like whole cherries is oh. really, really delicious. Mm. This is like Michelin peanut butter. And then that, yeah, right. thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then I did um, oh, God. the good. The one that's really good is, uh, and I didn't have any because everybody likes it. It's toffee crispy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's milk chocolate Insane. toffee and rice that's crispies. Nice. Yeah. That's available online also. But that's really good. But it's not. It's sweet in a different way. Yeah. But people say like, well, what should I put this on? And it reminds me of. Um, there's a cheese monger in the uh, the sort of nice grocery store right on our block. And one time I was in there and she was really, really smart about cheese and very knowledgeable. I was asking her about this and what do you do with this? And then I said, um, so what do you recommend putting the cheese on to get? Like what kind of cracker? Should it have a little bit of sea salt or something? Mm-hmm. Do you, do, you know, should you do it on a cucumber so that it doesn't get in the way or anything like mm-hmm. that? And she looks at me and she goes, well, have you tried just eating the cheese? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but that will stick with me forever. Go, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because she was kind of yeah. like, the, the cheese is the yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. back to basics. The cheese. Yeah. That's funny. So that's what I say about the peanut yeah. butter. You kind of end up just eating it out of the jar. And, uh, you know, I've had need. people eat the whole thing in line waiting to do the meat it. and green. I believe it. And they get there like, we finished the peanut butter. And I'm like, you're high on marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> Most likely, yeah. yeah. Like, yes. I well, wouldn't be mad at that with a dollop of that on some vanilla ice cream either. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's what people do go. with the toffee. And yeah. then mm. if you put it on it, I'm, I'm a huge fan of Triscuits. But if you put it on a Triscuit, oh. something about that just oh. goes really well. It's like uh, that cheese borson or whatever. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. I know what you mean. Put that on a Trisket and call it Christmas. Man. And you need to use the <laughs> word monger moy more. Yeah. Monger. Yeah, cheese monger. Underutilized. Oh, yeah. Your peanut butter monger. God, I thought I thought for sure. I don't know why, but I thought you said <laughs> yeah. mongoloid. No. Oh. <laughs> what? You don't use I, that word. You, you, you gotta use that, that word more. That too. was yeah. that was really left field. <laughs> if yeah. you actually had said that, I was very much like, <laughs> yeah. why is he talking about that? <laughs> Greg. Why is it? And I'm like, wow, he liked that peanut butter. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. gotta be oh, no, feeling all mongoloid. Care. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you got a lot going on. You got peanut butter. You got hot sauce. You're doing comedy. You're uh, working on maybe a movie thing. Stand up comedy for sure, dude. I, I'm doing, and I've got a, uh, a series uh, called The Loneliest Megaplex, which I'm excited yeah. about. It's a, it was a period piece about the pandemic, but now it's just about sort of the death of malls. Like, yeah. oh, malls. there you go, Menace. Menace. dude. I'm yeah. a big Menace mall, is a mall guy. Rat. Yeah. And so then there you go. Yeah. And so yeah. it's this failing mall. And I'm kind of this like successful loser, I call him. And um, he, uh, the I, the Megaplex where uh, I used to work, gives me an offer to bring me back to the job. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And they're like, and we're gonna give you a dollar twenty five cent raise. And it's exciting because you'll be both the manager and the assistant manager, <laughs> and you're allowed to, or you're gonna be taking tickets. Although most people buy through the app, so right. not yeah. hard. And you'll be doing concessions and uh, the janitorial work. So doing all of it. And I'm like, yeah. am I working with anybody else? And they're like, no, but let us know because there are other people interested in me. <laughs> yeah. And so yeah. I take my job back and I'm the only employee at a 30 screen megaplex in a mall that's sort of almost dead. Yeah. Whoa. And it's called the loneliest and megaplex. And where is that? Um, well, still, we're. It's oh, it's kinda, not. A, so we, we can't see it no, yet. No, no, be on yet. the lookout. But you're working Cause on there's, it. Cause, yeah, because there's a lot of. Uh, what I've realized in sort of making this movie it's like a studio movie it's like 18 million dollars or 20 million dollar budget 
is that when you're an actor, you kind of just it's it's really you're you arrive really late to the party in terms of making a movie. So they've already written the screenplay, gone through the we were on our eighth draft of the screenplay. They found the producer, they found the director, they understood, they got the budget together. They, they, they you know, the production company. It's like all these things have to happen and take so long to put together and it has to all line up perfectly. And then you would go in and cast people. Yeah. And so if you're not the star of the movie, then, and I mean like top lining the movie, then you're, you're, you're just, you're getting hired when the film's almost done. That's why they're kind of like, okay, good. You're here. All right. Stand over there. Say these words. Okay, now go sit down. <laughs> so we can't okay, see you. Get up, get up, and go see that. So it's it just takes so long. Yeah. Like usually the fastest you can get a movie made is in two years, and something like Everything Everywhere All at Once, which mm-hmm. our film is closer to that than other Christmas mm-hmm. movies. Um, it's uh, that took five years. Wow. To Jeez. make that, Damn. and so you know, it's really it's a slow sort of thing, but it's a big swing because especially what we're doing. If you get a Christmas movie right, that's like goes down in the yeah. all-time classic. That's true. It becomes a Hall of Famer and mm-hmm. there's yeah. theater which is funny because you know working on this Christmas movie it's totally different, but I've already done a Christmas movie. And Office Christmas Party kind of has become that for a lot of people. So we watch it. It's our tradition. The new classic. We watch it everywhere all the time. My uncle's drunk and he's like, "Put it on." <laughs> yeah. I'm drunk and I'm like, well, "Let's get my cousin drunk." And so it, it really gets to be like really, really cool and important culturally if you make a Christmas movie that's just like, you know, that knocks it out of the mm-hmm. park. So in that way, it's not really that disconcerting when it takes a few years to actually make the film. But the uh, the mall one, we can't see that yet because it's yeah. still in process. But like, um, like when, when do you think that might be? Might that'll, be out. that'll be sooner. I'm going to put that straight on. To be. No, all right, there you go. Right. Tim, see, it all came full circle. <laughs> T.J. Right. T. Yeah. Miller, everybody. So this that. weekend, T.J. Miller, the Laugh Factory in Covina, California, Southern California, tomorrow through Sunday, and then some other uh, dates in Las Vegas, September 27th through the 29th. Then in February, February 14th through the 16th, be in Pittsburgh, and uh, oh, get all the dates, true. all the information. T.J. Miller does not have a website.com. Uh, it's also where you can find the peanut butters. And the hot sauce and all the other stuff. He's always releasing uh, new uh, specials and different stand-up comedy things. So check it out there. TJ, thank you for coming in. Thank you. My YouTube channel has new content all the time. And I have like several long-form stand-up comedy shows. Those are very, very fun. One in Spokane, Washington that's all about Spokane. And if you don't live there... It's Another still, great Woody Show City. Yeah. Funny, is it really? Yeah. yeah. Oh my God! Everyone who, who everyone in Spokane <laughs> has to watch the special. I watch it. It is so so hilarious. But yeah, always new stuff there. And get your tickets to Govina because it's going to sell out for sure. Because it's a, a smaller mm-hmm. club, really fun venue. First time there. Thanks, guys. All right, TJ. Thanks, thank TJ. you. Thank you, TJ Miller. Everybody, more Woody Show next. Hang on.